What is going on, Panda Game? And today in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to download and utilize the best aim assist values with Indeed, the Venom version one script, right? To go ahead and get access to this, click on the Google Doc. This script is, again, always completely free on the Google Doc. It has been here for months. As you can tell, there's even a setup video linked, but I did go ahead and upload a new one, so make sure you all go ahead and watch that because the setup videos usually come out first. But again, just right click on this media fire link. It's on the seventh page, all right? This Google Doc is linked. I know a lot of you guys are looking for scripts where you can use one recoil value for all your guns. Well, we got you guys covered. Click on the first link in the description. That's going to bring you guys over into the Podia. Right now, currently, we got five tiers over. We got the Extreme Scripts, Ultimate Aim Assist, Custom Scripts, Legendary Tier, and the Lifetime. All right. With the Extreme Scripts, you guys get access to all my scripts that I've released. There is over 500 of them in there. The Ultimate Aim Assist tier, you get access to all the scripts as well as the aim assist values and all the videos that go along with that, right? And then finally, we got the custom scripts here. This is where we take your exact settings that you send us. I'll have a list of things that you send to me and we'll make a script so you do not have to adjust anything at all, all right? And then finally, the legendary tier for anyone that's new to the Zen, I highly recommend this tier and a lot of people have been getting on one-on-one -on -one calls with me. We've been getting the Zen set up. So if you don't wanna spend 25 hours on learning the Zen and learn in about an hour or two or less, Make sure you guys go and sign up for that. And finally, we have the one-time lifetime tier. This is, again, one-time purchase for access to everything in here. For, again, that's 250 So if you wanted that, you can also get the one-on-one -on -one and everything else. A lot of people always ask questions. Lethal, what if we get the $30 tier? Do you get everything below it? Yes, you do. So if you got the legendary tier, you'll get everything else that's included above it as well. All right? And I know a lot of people are always looking for a one-time purchase for things. So we went ahead and opened a brand-new Cellify store. On there, I have the $10 tier, which is just one script. Okay, my number one script, the Panda MV4. Again, that's the only script you're gonna get. And then we have this tier right here for my top 10 scripts for, again, $75, all right? So you guys can go and check that out. But a huge shout out to the man for 6K members that we just reached on the podium. And appreciate every single one of you guys and hope to catch you over there, all right? Link in the description of every single one of my videos. Usually the second link. Click on it, get a bookmark to, so you stay up to date. But right click on the media fire link and it'll take you over into this, right? I'm going to go ahead and refresh it and you'll see a little download link, all right? All you want to do once you see it is just go ahead and press download. Once you do that, you will have to get the script open in the compiler like this. And to do that, it's very simple. You just hit files up here to the top left hand side, press open right over here and then go into your download section, all right? And your Venom version one will be the first one because that's the first one you went ahead and downloaded, right? The latest one, you just wanna right click and then press open, all right? This is what the script looks like. You don't need to adjust anything here. If you've seen my set of video, you know what I'm talking about, all right? So all we're gonna do is go over to program and before you can save it, you can see if you check my mouse right here to the all the way on number three, I do already have it saved because I just made the set of video. Before you can save it, you want to go over into device and make sure you uncheck this use legacy 16 bit compiler option. All right. Once you've done that, go back over to programmer and your thing is going to be on this send circle on the left hand side. Just close down one and put it on the GPC slot. You see Venom V1, just right click and drag and drop into an open slot. Right. If it's your first time adding the script, once you drop it down into a slot over here, make sure you press this play button to program. All right. So once you've done that, we can go ahead and switch on over into the full face cam. And let me go ahead and get our controller cam as well. So we can talk about the aim assist and how all that works, right? So right now you can see some of the mods are working. You can see the auto ping, which is pressing up on the D-pad. And then my aim assist, which is shaking. That's the aim assist in action, all right? Inside of this script, there's many different aim assist, okay? So first one is just aim assist, right? You have different options. You got version four, version five version 5 plus speed boost, and then version 6, all right? The reason I choose the speed boost is in case you need aim assist when you're firing. If you're a beginner, I highly recommend this, and even an intermediate to an advanced player, this does help. That's why I like using it, all right? Next option is triple aim, okay? What triple aim is, is aim assist whenever you hold your aim button, whenever you hold your fire button, and whenever you're not holding any of the buttons, and the aim assist is always just active because of hip aim assist, that's what it's called, all right? Then you got Venom Tracker, you can use that if you wanted to, I'm not a big fan of it. Steady Aim, same thing, not a big fan of it. And then you got the Headshot Aim Assist, same thing, I'm not a big fan of it, just kind of gimmicky. 
Strafe aim assist is quite helpful. What this does, it works aim assist off your left stick instead of just your right stick. So that can be useful. But let's go and talk about my favorite one, which is aim assist right here, version five with speed boost. Once you went ahead and put that on, go ahead and press A. And your aim assist type, make sure you leave this on polar, press right on the D-pad. Choose shape, make sure you come in here and select circular. All right, shape direction on. ADS speed, what I'll do is just go ahead and increase it right now to about 30. And then same thing with the regular speed. I'm going to increase it to 30. Actually, not 40, 30. Radius, same thing. Going to increase it to 30. And then you got options for aim assist booster. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Invert boost, if you play it on inverted, you can turn it on as well. Boost strength and time, leave them just as is, 5 and 10. Tailor tracking, you can turn that on. Put the size to 5. Speed to 5 as well, all right? So that's basically how I have it set up currently. Those aren't the values I would normally use, but I just want to show you what this looks like, all right? So now you can see that right thumbstick is shaking like freaking crazy, all right? Now, if I'm ever using the VAM script and the values that I'm using is ADS speed, anywhere between 15 to 20. Use 20 if you're an aggressive player. If you're not, just do 15, man, all right? Don't try to be that guy that tries to show up because then your screen will shake, all right? So again, everything at 15. Aim assist booster on. Boost strength 5. Boost time, i would lower that to 5 as well. <coughs> Tailor tracking on. Size at 5 and speed at 5, all right? That's the values I would rock. And here's what that looks like. You can see there's not that much shaking going on now right? Which is pretty good. And then you can hit the fire button and you still got the aim assist active. So that's one of the aim assist. What I'm going to do is just go down here, turn that one off, turn on triple aim. Inside of here, you got ADS size. What this means is the size of the circle when you're aiming. I'm going to put everything at 30. All right. Wait time. This is how long it takes. Fire size, ADS fire time. <laughs> There's so many values inside of this. You'll see hip size, right? Hip time. I'm putting everything at 30 just for testing purposes. And there you go. All right. You can see everything's at 30. This is what this aim assist looks like. You can see it moves your right thumbstick even when you're aiming or when you're firing. You see, or only when you're firing, it works too. Only when you're aiming, it works, right? See that? There you go. That's what triple aim assist is. I think. If you're going to use the aim assist, use version 5 speed boost and or triple aim. All right. Same thing here. Lower the values. I would lower them to about 10 in here. All right. I think 10 would work much better for most of y'all. And that's what I would rock in here. All right. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn on our strafe assist. All right. You can see strafe strength. I'm going to do 40. <coughs> Leave act in time at 300. And this is what that looks like. All right. Pretty much the strafe aim assist will work off your, you see how the left stick kind of just jitters. That's all it is. All right. Again, not a big fan of it, but it is pretty good if you wanted to test it out. All right. And then finally, we got the headshot aim assist in here. You got strength and hold time. So you can increase the strength. And again, it's not really going to look like it's doing much until you're playing and utilizing it in game. All right. So hope you enjoyed this video, man. Catch you on the next one, Panda Gang. Stay tuned for all these script setup videos. Again, a bunch of free scripts on the Google Doc. I do set up videos on them pretty much once a week. All right, so hope you stay tuned. Catch you on the next one. Peace and love, Panda Gang.